مرحبا معكم دكتور عادل ريس وقد ما اجاني طلبات بالانترفيو اللي عملناه قبلا مع بروفيسور ويليام سميث حابين يعرفوا عن هالجراحات الجديده اللي عم تنعمل يلي مش موجوده بالعالم العربي ومن بعد ما طلب مني كمان اعمل ساعده بجراحه صغيره اللي منا صغيره عملنا امبارح عملنا زرع خلايا جذعيه كنت عم ساعده بالجراحه الشغل اللي شفته وشي خيالي يعني صراحة. فاليوم كثير عالم عم يسالونا عن الجنف عن السكوليوز وبروفيسور سميث هلا عنده عم يعملوا تكنيك جديد كثير للجنف. بروفيسور ويليام سميث هلو ناو وير لايف ذيس تايم. يس. اند وي ار جوينغ تو توك اباوت سكوليوز سيرجري ذا نيو سكوليوز سيرجري. And so let's explain a little bit about scoliosis. Scoliosis, or genuf, he lemon besirfi had taje bedahar. Okay, and shufa ktir ktir ktir. Halash asbeba ktir. Marhan futba asbeba. We are behemna the hal, not behemne the sabab behel hali. So, what is the difference between? The old technique, where you used to have the the, the Harrington uh, rod, metallic rods from up to down, and the new technique. Yes. Well, the older technique that has certainly been evolving, it's been successful um, over the years. It typically in children requires a long incision in the middle of the back, could be one foot, two foot. I've seen three foot long that we've had to do in the past. Yeah, so from here to here sometimes. Yeah. And it entails us basically, if you if you ever fillet a fish, that's what we do to the spine. We take the muscle off the complete back of the spine so we can see the entire backbone. Then we have to make m- multiple cuts in the spine and the bone and the spine. Yeah. And that can cause significant bleeding. We kept bone uh, can be very vascular, especially in young children can bleed. And then for that technique, we have to put sometimes as many as 30 to 40 screws in the spine. And then hopefully with forceful reduction measures, put two large rods that we have to bend to the exact dimensions we want the patient to go to, to get the patient to return to that level. And then we have to force the body to fuse the spine with bone. So we know if the metal by itself, if the body doesn't make new bone to fuse the spine, the metal will fail eventually. Okay. So that's a, it's a large operation. Uh, the majority of patients uh, to a certain uh, level of the fusion size will require a transfusion of blood, which blood has transfusion. its own risks. In fact, I, I have surgeon friends of mine who ask the patient to donate blood before surgery three months before surgery. And this is why all the parents are afraid of this yeah. old surgery yeah, yeah. because of so many complications. Yeah. And now the new surgery is has nothing to do with the old surgery. So it, it's very different. Yeah. Um, Can you explain a little bit? Because- so one of the, the, the things that are different is we tend to make multiple small incisions. Yeah. We don't cut the muscle. We'll dilate through muscle. So there is no muscle cutting there's anymore. There's no muscle cutting. So, and there's, if there's no muscle cutting, then the, uh, the, the rehab, the uh, regeneration process will be a lot faster with less side effects. So what we see is much less pain. Yeah. If the patient is much less pain, they can be mobilized. They can get out of bed quicker. Good. By getting out of it quicker, that we know that lowers the risk of other complications, blood clots pneumonias, the quicker we're able to get the patient up and walking. And I expect patients to be up and walking, if not the evening of surgery, certainly the next morning. Wow. And Um, the cut is made where? We do the cuts on the side of the spine, not up and down the back. So 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 there's no more cutting from here. No, no, no. And the incisions are smaller. Uh, They tend to be cosmetically, I think, more appealing because we do them small incisions that follow the normal skin lines where they heal, so there's no large scars that form. Mm. And by able to, by maneuvering around the tissue plane so we don't have to cut them, we allow the body's tissues to work for us. And the old deformity surgery, not only were we cutting out abnormal tissue to get to our surgery, 
we had to remove normal tissue. Oh, wow. Normal tissue. It's one of the nice things about these more minimally invasive techniques is we just get to the pathology, we remove the pathology, and then the normal structures actually help our rest uh, restoration of anatomy. So the, we allow the body to help itself, so to speak. Good, so with the new technique, the MIS, minimum invasive surgery, scoliosis technique, the patients, the young patients, who are doing the surgery are aged between the 12 and 20? I think that's sort of the sweet spot. Good. You know, realize so, that, that every patient is not a candidate for this, so we have to yes. evaluate them with x-rays and history yes, taking. Not every scoliosis patient yes. can do the surgery, that but the, the patient who can, after surgery, they can move. Yeah. That's the difference between the new technique and the old technique. The old technique, they become like robots. Uh, and we have also problems under the surgery and over. For the long-term benefits, it seem to be, one, we can get better or the same results and operate on fewer bones. Wow. And that obviously means we can sort of do a, a less risky surgery by doing less mm. and achieving more. And by rebalancing the spine, by not fusing the spine, when we fuse the spine, it has this huge fulcrum that yeah. puts pressure above and below. And we know as many as 20 to 30% of patients after scoliosis surgery, if they live 20, 30 years down the road, will develop problems above and below and might require another major operation. Yes. We don't believe we're seeing that with this non-fusion, minimally invasive reduction of scoliosis. And this is what I see in my clinic all, uh, all the time, is side effects of these huge surgeries. So uh, now with this new t technique, we, we will see much less side effects. The, the parents can be uh, you know, relaxed now. They, they're not, they, cannot, uh, they won't be afraid to, uh, over their children uh, to die uh, probably on the OR or to have so much side effects after the surgery. And uh, the, the girls now, the, if it, she's, if the patients, if uh, there are girls, they won't be worried about their huge scar because it's going to be the very small scars. Mm -hmm. So it's, an, it's a quantum leap in, in surgery. We, we certainly believe so. I certainly believe so. Um, it's certainly one of the things that I've, uh, I've you know, committed my entire adult career to these things. It's a, a, it's a very exciting time. Yeah. We're seeing our knowledge of anatomy, disease processes improve. And now we have the technology to help us achieve those things. And, uh, you know, it's a benefit to our patients, to their families, to society. And it's, uh, again, it's an exciting time. Ex exactly. And this surgery can be done only for uh, high curve, uh, high curve uh, uh, curvature uh, scoliosis, right? Well, so, because if this is a small scoliosis, it can be done with non-surgical treatments, ab like absolutely. I do in my clinic. But when you have a patient who is like that, uh, no treatment can do that. This this will require surgery, and this new technique is is the future. So this, the future is now. Yeah, yes, I believe so. And certainly, wow. any patient that we get this, we want to see serial x-rays. Uh, very rarely would we ever recommend an, an operation when somebody just had one set of x-rays. We want to see a progression of the curve, a worsening of the curve. I certainly believe that aggressive non-operative treatment should be offered and performed before any surgery. Even a safer surgery should be offered. Um, I also believe we don't have all the data to prove this. I believe the patients who go through some of the non-operative treatments, even if they then go on to surgery, it's my impression as their surgeon, that makes the surgery easier and more achievable to the goals we set for ourselves. Professor Smith, thank you very much. Um, this is our second interview and this is live. And uh, really thank you. I will, uh, I will conclude in Arabic. حضرت امبارح مع جراحه سكوليوز كان عم يعملها جنف ما انا ما صدقت عيوني انا حاضر كثير جراحات وعندي كثير رفقه جراحين عظم كثير مشهورين وكثير معروفين بالعالم العربي بس ما حضرت هيك شيء بحياتي اللي عمله هو قص من هون قص هالقد هيك شيء انجا شيء لا يذكر 
ما كان عم ينزل يعني نقطة دم بس نزل مشي يعني اللي شفته شي ما بيتصدق حسيت حالي كأنه نحن بسنة 2050 بس نحن بعد 2022 سو اللي عم يعملوا بروفيسور سميث هلا شي عن جد رهيب والبراغ صغار كانوا وكانت المريضة هيك عمرها 13 سنة كانت هيك وصورناها من بعد اللي تشوف الصورة هلا بعد قديش تحسنت بعدد براغي كثير كثير قليل فعن جد هذا الشيء كثير 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 حلو بتمنى يا ريت في عندنا هالتكنولوجيا بالعالم العربي بس ما هو دكتور سميث منه كثير بعيد عن عن العالم العربي موجود هو عم بيكون بيجي مرتين او ثلاثه بالسنه على قبرص اللي هي كثير قريبه على لبنان ف عن جد شيء كثير حلو وان شاء الله نقدر نعمل انترفيو مره ثانيه لانه في عند في في عنده قصص كثير كمان جديده تكنولوجيا كثير جديده بالجراحات نحن بنخاف من الجراحه لانه بنخاف من الدم بنخسر دم وبنخاف من لانه ما تنجح بس هلا بالتكنولوجيا الجديده او التكنيكات الجديده عن جد تحيه كثير كبيره ثانك يو فيري جود ثانك يو ثانك يو فور يور تايم